Hello, O-Doers. I'm your host, Jose Ignacio, and today we're going to be talking about blanket orders. Now, here at Stealthy Wood, we always order timber from the same vendor. And this is important because after hundreds of orders, we started to wonder, what if we could simplify this process? You know, especially since we always order the same products at the same price. And wouldn't you know it, lucky for us, we can use the blanket orders feature in the Odoo Purchase app. Now, what are blanket orders? Well, blanket orders are long-term purchase agreements between a company and a vendor to deliver products on a recurring basis with predetermined pricing. Your company should consider using blanket orders when you frequently purchase a product from the same vendor, but in varying quantities or at different times. Not only do you save time, and time is very valuable these days, you know, thanks to the simplified ordering process, but you also save money as this now places you in an advantageous position to negotiate bulk pricing with your vendor. But enough about all this. Let's see how quickly we can set up a blanket order in Odoo. So here we are on the purchase dashboard. Now, the very first thing we need to do is to enable purchase agreements by going into the configuration, settings, and then enable purchase agreements. And once we're done with that, we just hit save. Now, let's see how blanket orders are set up. We're going to go into agreement types, blanket orders, and we're going to select edit. Now, for the agreement selection type, since we'll create multiple RFQs, we're going to leave it on select multiple RFQs, non-exclusive. As for the lines, the new RFQ should use the product lines defined in the blanket order. So we're going to leave it on use line of agreements. Now for the quantities here, as the product's quantities will most likely change with each RFQ, we will set the quantities manually every time. And we're going to want to hit save. All right, once we've got everything set up, we're going to create a new blanket order because we got to test this. So. We're going to go over to orders and then we're going to go into purchase agreements and we're going to select create. Now we need to select the agreement type, which in this case, blanket order. Now following this, we need to specify the vendor and we're going to choose our beloved wood corner. Once that we have selected this vendor, we add the products we want to order along with the unit price. In this case, we're going to select inside of adding a line, select our product, and we're going to pick pine plank and our unit price 20. Now we could also specify a quantity here if for example we agree to order a specific minimum quantity from our vendor. Maybe Wood Corner wants us to order a thousand, a hundred, five. It's arbitrary. We could also add this information to the terms and conditions section at the bottom of the agreement as well. But I'm just going to leave it at one for now because I can't confirm a blanket order without a quantity. I can always go back anyways and change it. So once we're done with that, we're gonna select confirm. So now that we just finished configuring all that, the status of the blanket order is now ongoing and we can create new quotations whenever we want by clicking on new quotation. Now, since we configured the blanket order to use the lines of the agreement, we see the Pine Planks product is already added. We just need to specify how many of these planks we wanna order this time. In our case, let's do 25, because I like that number. Now, I just wanna make a quick note that even if we configured the blanket order to use the quantity in the agreement, we can still manually change the quantity as you just saw me go from one to 25. And let's go ahead and confirm this order. Now we're gonna go back to the blanket order via the breadcrumbs, which is always handy to use in Odoo. Now, if needed, by the way, we can quickly view all the requests for quotations made under this blanket order by clicking on the RFQs and order smart button that we see here. Now, we're gonna get out of here though and go back to the blanket order again via the breadcrumbs. And this time we're gonna click on edit because there's an extremely useful trick if you're using reordering rules. Now, blanket order agreements can be used as part of the automated replenishment. Now, if I click on this external link button, it's gonna take us over to the Pine Plank product form. And we're gonna go into the purchase tab. And once the blanket order is confirmed, a new vendor line linked to the blanket order is added to the product. Now make sure this vendor line is at the top of the list and the procurement is set to create a draft purchase order. Then once a reordering rule involving that product is triggered, the blanket order can be used to replenish your stock and Odoo will automatically create the draft RFQ for you to review and confirm. Now, isn't that easy? 
Be sure to check out the videos and other Odoo tutorials about replenishment for more information. Now, whenever one of our agreements has run its course, we can quickly close the blanket order by clicking on close. And remember, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.